People will tell you what you want to hear. People will tell you what they think you'll believe, and then they'll tell you the truth. From what I'm hearing from the Dolphins, from what I've read in the paper, I don't believe they're telling the truth. Ted Wells will get to the bottom of the truth, but I want to talk about a culture that was fostered in that locker room and was allowed to flourish. The Miami Dolphins locker room probably consists of 75, 80% blacks. If you allow Richie Incognito to walk around in an open locker room and to use a racial epithet that most black Americans, all black Americans, know the stigmatism and the hate and the vitriol that comes with that word. If you allow him to do that, you are encouraging him to do that. It has to go unchecked. I read, and I don't know, it's alleged, that some black players said Richie Cognito was an honorary black. There's no such thing. This tells me everything I need to know about the Miami Dolphins locker room. How we got here and why we got here. Because so many people, if you don't understand it, because I'm 45, I grew up in rural South Georgia. Maybe I'm a disconnect with me, JB. Maybe it's me. Just ask your parents. Ask your grandparents. The mountain that they climbed so a black person in America could have respect, could have dignity, and you allow this in an open locker room to take place is unacceptable. It's, I, I place this, I'm so disappointed. I just hope that someone was misquoted. I hope I'm wrong. And they didn't allow Richard Incognito to say this racially charged word in an open locker room and go unchecked. That's unacceptable. I'm, I'm embarrassed for it because when he said, if he said that to Martin, Jonathan Martin, he didn't only say that, he's he talking to you too. Because if you're black, you know what that word means. And you know what, Shannon, I'll just say this. 